Talk about three things that I think are game changers um, that really help uh, our win ratio. One of those is auto relevant. So part of that is aligning and auto relevancy we'll talk about in a few slides here. Auto relevancy is really hard, but it's not so hard if you're focused on a subset of your customers. And so um, the question is, do I grow laterally or do I grow deeper in the customer set that I'm already in? I would, I would say grow deeper in the customer set that you're in. Um, and yes, you can grow laterally, but those need to be controlled. Now, fortunately in the joint venture, we have a pretty large footprint because our companies all came to us with CPARs or PPQs and relationships that we get to expound upon. So it's kind of from a, a competitive environment, it's a fast track, but it's also essential. It's essential to have those CPARs. CPARs are the material evidence of what you're doing. And so your CPAR and your CPAR rating becomes really, really important. CPAR excellent, CPAR satisfactory. Okay, so we're looking for excellent CPARs. So our back office has been set up and the way that we set up our organization is to take advantage and to grow and manage our CPARs to an excellent uh, uh, category. Let's go th through three of these. So auto relevant means that we've identified who our customers are. We, and, and customers are down to the buyers. Customer doesn't mean army. It means army down to maybe a MIC down to a buyer that sits inside the MIC, up to his forecast and looking at what his forecast is. Because I think somebody used the analogy earlier about marriage, right? Well, you don't get married on one date and you're not gonna get awarded a contract if you submit one proposal. I mean, the probability is pretty low. So you gotta stay with your customer and you gotta stay with the mission. That's part of what we do. Right? We stay, we build the relationship, we stay with that relationship. In today's environment, the ability to track your insights and your information is better than it ever has. I started 30 years ago and uh, with technology that we didn't have today. So it was a lot of manual, you know, foyering and all kinds of very manual, laborious processes. Today, the wrapper of information you can get is tremendous. So it's much easier to do this today than it was years ago. So now you have to have the right formula. So that's what we've spent our time on uh, over the last 30 years. We've been perfecting what that formula is. So we've been building our systems and our processes around that formula. So auto relevancy is at the buyers. A lot of people talk about core competency. Yes, core competency is at the core of what you do. But it's your buyer that's number one your buyer and their forecast and your ability to align with your buyer's forecast. 